Hi, I'm Chip Hanauer and I've got 60 career wins. Hi, I'm Dave Vilwalk and I have 23 career wins. I've got seven national championships to my name. I have two national championships to my name. Hey, I've won two races this year. I've won two races this season. And I've won 10 Gold Cups. But I've won the last three. The APBA Gold Cup is coming up next on, on ESPN, ESPN Speed, Speed World. World. Welcome Hodge Plain Racing fans to ESPN Speed World coverage of the Ralph Thunder Tour 99 presented by Las Vegas. The Unlimiteds are getting ready to leave the docks and start the milling period for the Unlimited final of the APBA Gold Cup. We'll bring it to you when we come back on ESPN Speed World. Five laps of racing to decide the 1999 Gold Cup. Look who has the inside, Mark Weber. Then it's Chip Hanauer in the Pico. Vilwak in the Bud will be out in lane three. Greg Hopp grabs lane four. Chrysler Jeep and Steve David on the outside. Coming down to the start, five seconds. Watch the countdown. Three, two, one. It's a legal start. Mark Weber first across the line. The Pico right beside him. The Bud back a bit. Vilwak has some traffic to get through here if he's going to contend. A great way to start this race. You can sense that these drivers wanted to time it perfectly. The Bud has talked before about starting a little later and catching up to the field with his superior speed and cornering abilities. That's what he's trying to do right now. But right now, from the O'Doul's eye in the sky, it is Miss Pico and Chip Hanauer with that lead. Right there, the Budweiser actually moved from third place up into second as he got by Mark Weber. Right now, the second and third place boats are neck and neck, but look at the Pico go. We have not seen this boat run like this today. Can Hanauer stay ahead of the Budweiser? He has four and a half very long laps where he'd have to do that, but he has a great start here in the final heat of the 99 Gold Cup. And look at the turning ability of Chip Hanauer around the rooster tail turn. Jackie Leland loves what she sees so far, but we talked about it earlier, Steve, it's a five lap marathon, and Chip Hanauer, as good as he is, is still going to have to come up with one of the best races of his life to hold off Dave Vilwak. We saw it in one of the preliminaries, Hanauer had a bigger lead than this, and Vilwak drove around him, but I don't think Miss Pico was running like she is right now. This is the fastest this boat has looked all season. From the O'Doul's eye in the sky, you see about a rooster tail lead for Chip Hanauer as they go into the Belle Isle curve turn, and Dave Vilwak has his work cut out for him. Hanauer has built the lead. He is further ahead of the Budweiser than he was last time through the Belle Isle turn. One and a half laps down now, three and a half to go, and we could have quite a story developing here. What a look at Chip Hanauer as he is leading the field, and everyone's been running so well in the Detroit River. Greg Hopp, Mark Weber, Dave Milwalk and Hanauer, of course, but everyone else is being left in the dust right now. Chip Hanauer is leading this field, and Bernie Little is urging on Miss Budweiser. Who knows if Bud's got it in his gas tank? You can see exactly what Bernie was saying. Go get him, go get him. He has a lot of time left. Look at Hanauer fly that boat. He is walking sponsor to sponsor at 200 miles per hour. And I'm sure the last thing on his mind, Rich, is that three years ago he went on his head right there and nearly ended his career, if not his life. From the O'Doul's eye in the sky, you see Chip Hanauer maintaining the lead on Dave Vilwak. Steve, we tried to talk to Chip before the race. We tried to talk to Fred Leland before the race. Neither of them were talking to the media. They knew they had to get their heads together, a meeting of the minds, a brain trust, if you will, to get this race under their belts. And right now they are running the race of their lives, beating Dave Vilwak at this point for the 99 APBA Gold Cup, the last Gold Cup of the millennium. Hundreds of thousands of fans up and down the Detroit River here realizing that Budweiser is not catching Miss Pico. They have to be as shocked as Dave Vilwak is. The progressive tool company, Pico, is headquartered in Detroit. They have thousands of fans here. I think most of them are in the pits, Rich, and they're going crazy. But here comes the Bud. He's on the inside now. He can't keep it in there. He has to go back across the wake of the Pico. 
And if he stayed inside that inside lane and tried to get his nose in there, Steve, he might have risked turning that boat upside down, getting caught in Chip's rooster tail. He thought better of it, staying back in second race. This crowd, these crews, these owners shocked that the Budweiser has not been able to make up some of this lead that Hanauer has established. The white flag flies. Could it be that Chip Hanauer's 61st career victory will be his 11th Gold Cup? He has to hold off Phil Walk and the Budweiser. One more lap, Rich. And that is a great shot. Dave Vilwak has indeed come up to the inside lane, but he still hasn't made up any ground. There's Mark Weber fighting for third place with Greg Hopp and Steve David, two very formidable drivers behind him. That water looks a lot smoother than it is from the O'Doul's eye in the sky as the Pico is pounding through that big, sweeping 1,500-foot Belle Isle turn. A little over half a lap now for Hanauer. The Budweiser would have to pull off a miracle here to catch him, and we're going to have a big story if this is the way this Gold Cup ends. And Steve, as much as Chip Hanauer enjoys racing on the Detroit River, I'm sure right now what's going through his mind is I cannot wait for this race to be over to see that checkered flag. It can't come too soon for Chip and the Miss Pico. Every one of those holes in this very rough river looks twice as deep right now. For Chip Hanauer, around the rooster tail turn, the checkered flag flies. Miss Pico and Chip Hanauer have won the 1999 Gold Cup, defeating Dave Vilwak and Miss Budweiser Mark Weber. And the Detroit Yacht Club, York International, will run third. Unbelievable race that is, again, the best race we've seen. We said earlier that the second heat was the best race we've seen. If anyone could top it, it was this one, and it came when it counted most in the finals. The APBA Gold Cup going to Chip Hanno for the 11th time, and ecstatic people on the docks of the Miss Pico crew. There's Jackie Leland hugging the rest of her boys, and you know Fred Leland is somewhere celebrating as well. All the fans out here loving what they just saw. It is celebration time in the pits for Chip, the Lelands, the Pico crew, and all of their fans. with the winner of the 99 APBA Gold Cup. So you uh, saved a little for the end, huh? No, so awesome. No! I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Nice job. I can't believe it. Uh, you didn't show them everything you had till it counted, did you? No, these guys kept telling me to be patient. Telling me to be patient. Larry, thank you. Man, awesome. what a wonderful race you ran. Uh, they just said, be patient. We got behind, you know, and we... We couldn't get in the water on Thursday, and we couldn't get in the water on Friday. They said, hang in there, we'll figure it out. And Ken Dryden figured it out. Ken's a great, great guy. Chip, you've won so many Gold Cups. How does this one compare? I'd say this is the second best. The first one, it's like your first kiss. Uh, nothing ever comes close to that. But that, after that, this is the one. This is the one. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jim, I have a very jubilant route down here. Are you happy? Dave, we knew it was going to come down to you versus Chip in the finals, and what a great weekend of racing, and you ended up in second, but obviously no shame in that. It was a tremendous weekend. Well, yeah, we came out, we won more world championship points than he did, so that's important to us as well. We wanted to win that gold cup, but we haven't gone through tech inspection yet. <laughs> Tell us about the race itself. Uh, everything looked pretty clean, and uh, in the end, you just couldn't catch him uh, like you did in the heat, too. Yeah, it was rough, and, you know, I just had to pick through the rough stuff, and that's the way it goes. All right, we'll see you later on. Thanks. benchmark in hydroplane racing it is the APBA Gold Cup Chip Hanauer has now won 11 of them 
in his illustrious career. He lifted that trophy above his head with the strength of a thousand men, spurred on by the thousands and thousands of fans that came to Detroit and the shores of the Detroit River to cheer this man on, who is now one win away from tying Bill Muncy's all-time career wins record. enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. For Steve Montgomery, I'm Rich Hollenberg. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com, part of the Go Network, Go.com. So long from Detroit. Gee, I guess now I'm the defending champ. Hmm.